Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice in the previous session, the ES was not able to hold above the midpoint of, uh, of Monday's range. That opened up selling pressure throughout much of the morning. Eventually, price was able to bounce off the lows a bit, but again, the damage was done. Lower highs, lower lows, wide-ranging day, and uh, lower value relationship with the pivot range with a, uh, a bearish bias. And now you can see price right now testing the pivot range here on the way back up a little bit. The 44.50 is going to be important right in this zone where kind of came into that area's resistance. And uh, if there's a failure to kind of push through that area, this could lead to a bit more weakness in the near term to the downside. So again, is, is yesterday's session kind of an indication of more weakness to come? Is it something like this here that could lead to another several days down or something where it breaks down here and we rotate downward a, a, another several days? Or is it going to be more like a few uh, weeks ago where it just kind of was and then went sideways to up the rest of the time. We're still holding market structure. We're still in the thick of the August uh, low volatility season. But overall, this is going to be a key level to watch. A failure to get above 44.50 could suggest a bit more downside here, perhaps back to the previous month's close price, just shy of 4,400. You got the FOMC key level down below that, or perhaps even a little bit lower. Uh, the ability to, to hold above 44.50 would go a long way toward keeping the melt-up phase intact, at least for now. Taking a look at the NQ now. NQ right now trading 51% of average range, 76 points, a very narrow range here. You can see also the previous session price not able to hold that midpoint, failed, new lows on the day. But if you bring this out again, you're, you'll notice here that this now is a developing 20-day range. Yesterday completed 19 days. Today is the 20th day inside this range. Super, super narrow compression. Uh, less than 400 points of range for that 20-day range. So that's significant. Again, at some point, this energy could release itself one way or another or both. And right now, failing to kind of stay above the previous session's midpoint, uh, call it 15.025, somewhere in that zone, could open up a little bit more weakness here. This previous month's midpoint is the key zone, though. A failure to hold 14.8 would open up the previous month's low. And again, if we were to see prices in this LVN down here, that could be a tremendous opportunity to buy it and return it back up. 14.2 to 15.2 could be an easy plus 1,000 with a shot to see a continuation through that. So we'll see if we get some sort of volatility of that magnitude. Until then, we could be stuck inside this 20-day range until proven otherwise. Let's take a look here at crude oil now. Now crude oil, um, this one has had quite a bit of weakness here recently, uh, not able to really maintain any kind of strength. It was bouncing pretty decently here and failed through the mid, uh, which dropped things again. You have your previous month's low price right there. That's the key range low. That could still be in play as a major test here. But we have kind of a, a, a rounded top, downward uh, sloping price action. Again, it almost appears as though we need one good shakeout to bounce this thing back up. Between 64 and 65 could provide a bit of a trap back up. But right now, this market remains fairly weak. Uh, hasn't really demonstrated an ability to really get going to the upside and maintain that strength. And we're now sitting right on top of, you know, a pretty significant area of market structure. If you just bring back 66s, it had been resistance here, pushed through it, made it support. This is a big zone here. Is it going to fail here and open up the next zone down, or are we going to bounce and, and bring it back up? Got to continue to watch 66s here as the main pivot for crude oil. Taking a look now at gold futures. This one right now, inside day, 40% of average range, 11 points of range here for today, but a very good bounce back, a very good snap back reaction after that flash reaction to the downside. We've nearly gotten to 1,800, getting as close as 97.60 in the previous session. We could still see a push through to about 1,805, 1,806, and maybe a little bit higher. 
again we're now back inside this market structure here so even if price were to pull back as deep as 1760 it could provide an opportunity to buy it back toward 1835 to 1840 until proven otherwise all right that is it for now we'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck trade well and i'll see you in the trader room take care